literally, without a doubt, the best singer in rock ever. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to A View From The Stage. My name's Rob. This is my lovely girlfriend. Her name is Stephanie. Hey, guys. And what we're going to be reacting to today is we are going to be reacting to Journey with the song Open Arms. Um, I love this song. It's a huge hit. Um, she's heard this song in passing, but she's never listened to the whole song. Um, so she might not recognize much of it. Um, so... Okay. Anyway, let's get right into it. Do you like rock music? Are you tired of hearing the same songs over and over again? Are you interested in bands from Finland, from Norway, from Japan even? Make sure you smash that subscribe button because you never know what we're going to react to next. And now, back to the song. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Okay. This is live. Mm -hmm. This is live. Jesus. Oh, that's a piano. Wow. So pretty with his singing and that piano. Hmm. Wow. Thank you, Houston. Cool. Wow. That was nice. That was a beautiful, beautiful song. I could listen to that man. I've said this before. I could listen to that man sing the phone book. That is literally, literally, without a doubt, the best singer in rock ever. I don't even know if he's really rock to me. It's just his voice is so smooth. Well, he's, you know, copying off Sam Cooke and, and other yeah. singers of that time. But, like, 
he definitely he has a style and it's really good <laughs> it's really good you could sing anything um, yes you know it's funny because <laughs> I, I you know the, the main journey song i've always heard is don't stop believing you right. know mostly everyone else has so I, I almost forgot to kind of look at the other stuff they've done. You always think of Journey, you think of that, but, you know, I always forgot, like, gosh, they've done a lot. They really have, yeah. and it's... They had a stretch there from, like, 1977 through 1985 where they could do no wrong. Like... How many hits have they had? A lot. Oh. I mean, God, Wheel in the Sky... Faithfully, Who's Crying Now, um, Separate Ways, um, Open Arms, um, Love and Touch and Squeezing. Love and Touch uh, and Squeezing? Yep. What's that? Love and Touch and Squeezing. <laughs> no clue. Another. Um, <laughs> no clue. Although good. I'm sure it's amazing because yep, he's it, singing it. It really, really so. is. So, you know, Journey, Journey was a, they, they were a band before Steve. Um, for about four or five years. Oh. And they were a little bit more of a, you know, kind of a progressive kind of rock, little rock band and stuff. A little bit like Genesis. Hmm. Um, but then when they got Steve in the band, they're like, ooh, we can do more. Um, because they didn't, the, the last singer didn't yeah. really have that kind of range. Oh. And so Steve brought into the band a lot of range. <laughs> and they just, they took off when Steve joined the band. Um, yeah. So they're still touring, but they have Arnold Panetta or Panetta, Panetta, and he's he's good, but he ain't Steve Perry. What happened to Steve Perry? Did he die too? No. Oh. No, no. He's, you've asked this question before, you nerd. I know. I'm not very. Things going in my ear and out the other. Well, sorry. Steve Perry <laughs> uh, is still alive and kicking. Um, came out with a lot of solo albums in the 90s. Oh, but he's still um, doing he's doing solo work right yes. now. Right, right, right. Yes, he well, is. we talked about so many people on this and, and, show. And, you know, and he, so basically, <laughs> basically the story is, and I'll, I'll give you the short, short version. Okay. Um, the, so he had to have hip surgery. Mm -hmm. The band wanted to go on tour. He couldn't go on tour. And they're like, well, you better come on tour or we're going to kick you out. What? They're going to kick him out? The main singer who made all them, them all these millions of dollars. And mm -hmm. they're nothing without him. Yeah. And so he, he, they kicked him out of the band in 1996, I think. And mm -hmm. they've, they've done, they've had two or three singers since then. So. Well, okay. Well, as long as they're having fun, they're doing their thing, I guess, but... Steve Perry and Journey could make millions. Get it together, guys. Anyway, make sure you like and you subscribe to this video because you never know who or what we'll be reacting yeah. to next. And also, because we just, we love you being here and we love rocking out with you. So keep that in mind. We do Journey, we do Nirvana, we do the Beatles even. We even go back to the 60s and do the Beatles. It's a really, really wonderful thing to be here. Trust me. Thank you guys so much for watching and rock on.